So this is my this here is my vehicle, alright? Um well we're gonna start cell shading this. All I need to do is need to new tutorial tutorial uh new texture get into standard ink and paint it should be a big blue ball this will always start out blue so if you go into like one of your old like your already existing textures and you select ink and paint on it it will, it will take it back to blue or your textures will be gone however in the none box you can pick a texture that you'd had already right, so we're, we're going to take the one that I've already got and we'll plop it on there um, go back to parent I put this down to about 50 um, paint levels now the higher level will determine how good a shade that you'll get on your texture you can see the more levels I put on the more clean a shade it is it's about 18 um, highlight you know, it makes it nice and well that's a highlight, I don't like to put a highlight on it. Um, now this is your ink controls, that was your paint bit. Um, also in basic, you can make it uh, two-sided or this and that. Um, it gets quite handy. Um, now I usually put ink quality up to variable width minimum 5, maximum 2, and we're going to get, oh, yeah, sorry. We're going to get something that looks along like the lines like this. Now this is still very pretty basic, and you'll see the edges are really rough. Uh, we don't want rough edges, do we? So, what we're going to do? Okay, we'll cancel that. We'll go into a render setup. Go all the way into the bottom, assign renderer, and we're going to go, instead of your scan line, we're going to do mental ray. What mental ray will do is it will clean up our edges pretty nicely. It won't be perfect, but a lot better. As you can see, an obvious improvement already. Right, that's that. Um, right. This is what we've got. Oh, this is all we want here done. Now we're going to a new, um, a new texture. Now we're going to our standard, and when we've put on our mental ray thing, um, we'll have a lot more options to choose from. Now we want to go to the first blank one called mental ray. Double click, and in the first box at surface, we're going to none and ambient reflection and occlusion, the top left beside bitmap. This will go complete white, turn it up a wee bit, shadow levels 30, 32, right. And then what we're going to want to do is set up your camera however you want it to look. Let's see this will do. Just wait a wee bit. I really like this mental ray renderer. Right. Um, I haven't set it to all of the objects, so of course it's just the middle one. Now we want to save this as um, car01 jpeg and save. Alright, now we want to get our ambient occlusion. Select all items. I would expect that you might want to put a different cell shade for each item, so now you're going to want to keep the um, pretty much the exact same camera angle what you're going to have to um, I'm going to save the image car2 jpeg save now we want to open up your image manipulation thingy this is GIMP um, Photoshop is just the same well the same process that we're going to use um, we're going to open up our pictures, renders. Okay, something's gone wrong with that render there. Render it again.
Right. Um, take these two, drag them in. Now we want to grab our ambient occlusion picture and copy, and then go into our normal or main whatever we want. Edit, paste, and make it a new layer. You can see it's exactly on top. What I want to go into is to go to the layer mode and go from normal to multiply. This will be the exact same in Photoshop. Multiply will take away the white and it will leave you with that nice shadow. And well, you can see the difference. It picks out all the details. It's really nice. And it gives a real realistic sort of feel, especially if you put more realistic textures on with the lines. So you get a texture similar to um, Crackdown or Prince of Persia. You know, that's sort of really nice. And that's pretty much it. All you need to know. Any questions, just ask away.